Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can probably tell, I'm in the middle of a wood right now and that can only mean one thing, we're fishing the little stream, the little hidden stream that runs through the woodland. Now, it has been massively in flood like everywhere around here and actually where I'm stood now, as you can probably tell by the grass, there was a torrent of water sweeping through these woodlands, completely washing it out and right where I'm stood now would have been about waist deep. It was really, really bad through here. Um, but now the river has finally started to recede. It's still got loads of water coming down. It's normally about six to eight inches deep average. Right now it's probably about three foot deep on average. Absolutely mental stuff. But I'm hoping that the fish are biting. So what we're doing today is a bit of ultralight jigging. Got a two to eight gram rod. We're just gonna be focusing on the slack quarters right in the snags and hopefully we're gonna get a few fish. I'm gonna share a few hints and tips along the way um, for when you're fishing flooded little streams like this. It's a little bit different to when you fish the bigger rivers. Um, but hopefully we'll get some fish on the bank. All right, let's get cracked on. The way we approach smaller streams and rivers, either during or just after a flood, is very similar to the larger rivers, but there is one more challenging aspect, and that is that smaller streams and rivers will change a lot more during a flood. They can't cope with the water as well as the larger rivers, therefore you will get structure that disappears that used to be there, there will be snags that have now gone, um, there will be slack waters in the river which have now vanished that you were used to seeing before, and now there'll be new slacks formed and new snags and new areas that have built up with sediment there'll be new deep holes and some of the deep holes you fished before might not actually be there. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. There we go, there we go. Fish on, fish on. That's a chub. Well, that is a chub. Absolutely smashed it. Nice fish. On the ultralight gear. Yes. Chubtastic. Beautiful fish on that little shad. I knew there were a few one over there in that slack water. Absolutely choked it too, look at that. Now these wild stream chub sure do know how to put up a fight. This one put up a great scrap. Fighting right underneath the rod tip. They're not massive like some of the chub I catch on the larger river, but they fight probably just as hard, if not more for their size. Absolutely wonderful fishing. Just in a tight little slack water on the far side can't beat it on these little streams. Right, he's ready and ready to go, let's get him back. So it does actually take a bit longer to find the fish, but obviously there's got to be slack quarters somewhere, there's got to be structure, there's got to be overhanging trees, and when you find them, that's when you find the fish. On. Oh, what's that? Is that another chub? Oh, no, it was a lot bigger. Just lost it. I think that was a pike. Fish. Oh, fish on, fish on. I was really that quite quickly. Oh, it's a perch. Oh, it's a lovely perch. Oh. Come on. I absolutely crushed it. <laughs> yes. It's after chub today, but I'll take a perch like that in a little stream. Absolutely choked the bait as well. I put on a slightly bigger bait. Beast shad in white, just try and get some attention. And that's a lovely perch, it's probably a 37, 36 centimetre fish. 
put them down here in the margin. Now I have to emphasize again that this stream normally only runs about six to eight inches deep. So to catch a perch of this caliber is absolutely fantastic. And it's a beautiful fish, probably about a pound and a quarter, but for a, a small stream that flows through the woodland, that is an absolute unit. And I bet the minnow and sticklebacks down there are absolutely terrified. Just changed over to a slightly larger bait, just to see if there was any fish there, because it looked absolutely perfect. Bang, got one. Right, let's get him back. Just looking along the banks of this stream and the woodland that it runs through, you can actually see the course of where the water broke the banks and flooded this entire woodland. And the entire woodland was actually under about three foot of water. And there's still a quite a lot of water left behind and there's actually quite a strong stench of fish as well. So I imagine there's a few fish lost. Hopefully not too many though. Fish on, fish on. I just changed bait actually, that feels like it could be what we're after, chub. Oh no, it's going right underneath my feet. Come on. Oh, it's a good fish, it's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, it's a chub, that's what we're after. Oh. I just got snagged up on the opposite bank. So I actually put a smaller bait on the one we're using. Just put on a little shad style bait on just a 1.8 gram jig head, very, very light. I'm just going to rest him in the water and just see if there's one more out there before we have a look at him. That is exactly what we're after today. Just see if there's another one out there. There is. There is. Is that two casts later? Please stay on. Oh, he's coming off now. Why did I have to say that I jinxed it? Why did I say, please stay on? Go with the daftest thing I could have done. What do we see? We see me holding the camera and we see the net with no fish in it. What does that mean? It means that while I was setting the camera up, the fish jumped out, which is probably the fourth or fifth time that's happened in probably the last 12 months. <laughs> Never mind, let's find some more. Fish on. Whoa. Yes. Should be another chub. There's loads of vegetation, loads of snags. Looks like another chub. Oh yeah. Come on. Hey. It's not as big as the one that jumped out my net. And probably not as big as the one that I lost. It's still a lovely chub. Crushed a little chad style bait, just fishing a little skinny bait. Something that's easy for these chub to get into the mouths. Still a beautiful little fish from a tiny little stream. Well, it doesn't really look that much of a stream at the minute because it is raging through. It should be about ankle deep down there. It's currently about four foot deep. Absolutely mental. But yeah, we're finding this fish in the slag waters. The one that jumped out of the net was about three pound. That's a shame, isn't it? Right, let's see if we can find any more. Fish on, fish on. Oh, absolutely crushed it. Absolutely crushed it, fishing a slightly bigger bait. Oh, it's a chub. Oh, it almost went under a snag, it almost went under a snag. I had to pull him downstream because my net was downstream. 
got him. And that is a cracking chub for this little stream. Just on a bigger swim bait, I was actually trying to find the little jack pike that was in this swim that I lost earlier. And it absolutely crushed it. I saw something move on the opposite bank. I thought maybe it was a bird of prey or something. But I thought, you know what, if there's a bird of prey over there, hunting, then maybe there'll be some other fish over there. Absolutely crushed it. Put a larger bait on, trying for the small jack pike that I'd seen. And the jack pike didn't want it. The chub wanted it. <laughs> and for this little woodland stream, that is an absolutely cracking chub. It's probably a fish of just over three pound, maybe three and a quarter. Got his winter colours on, beautiful silver. And he absolutely nailed it. And they put up such a good fight. I just cast over to where I thought I'd seen a bird of prey on the opposite bank. Hit the water, bang. I'm guessing the bird are watching these fish. Absolutely awesome. Of tits. Right, it's starting to get dark now guys and I think it's probably about time to wrap it up. I fished for about four and a half to five hours today and we have had a cracking bit of action. I've lost a few fish, I lost a chub, I've lost a couple of pike I think but we've landed some absolutely cracking fish and it was a fantastic way to end the session. We've had some lovely looking chub and um, we had that fantastic perch that I didn't really expect. Um, I, I thought maybe I'd get a few chub today and possibly a pike but I never expected a big perch so that was nice to see. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. It's one of them sessions that I've really enjoyed. I got bogged down i got wet i got water over the top of my wellies but i caught fish and that's the main thing and i haven't lost my net it's right over there i'm not going to forget it see you later guys subscribe if you want to like the video if you liked it and uh catch some fish <laughs>